channel it's your favorite girl Amani Jelena and I'm here with another video for you guys if you guys do not know who I am I'm the owner of Allure 96 hair and lash company so if you need some bundles or wholesale or drop ship or pre ship you've come to the right company so always check the description box tons of goodies down there and also I'm the brand owner of Amani Jelena .co. so if you're interested in any digital downloads any workbooks anything of that nature pertaining to the educational value of entrepreneurship head over to amanijelina.co browse the website if you want to book coaching calls you can access all of that from amanijelina.co everything is in the description but let's just jump right to this video something that i do want to start adding to this channel is basically acknowledging those who actually interact with myself in the comment section so someone that i do want to give a shout out to that sends warm heartfelt messages in the comment section her name is silently adorable thank you for being a part of this journey with me and you know just actually supporting me on my youtube journey thank you guys for 19.2k the goal by the end of the year is to hit over 20k that's all i'm asking for so definitely keep sharing my videos keep supporting me keep liking keep commenting because i do appreciate each and every one of you so to get noticed on my channel all you have to do is just show engagement um, as far as like commenting saying hey how's your day things like that all that good stuff but we're just going to jump to the purpose of this video as you guys can see from the title of this video this video is going to be about stripe stripe the payment payment processor because i feel like people have so many questions about stripe uh, because not a lot of people talk about it and of course it's a lot of information on stripe's website but when you are actually in the process of making these accounts and things like that it's kind of hard to to understand how it all operates so me since i've been dealing with stripe for a little over three years now i definitely feel like i have the knowledge uh to let you guys know the ins and outs or the basics or whatever you want to call it pertaining to stripe so if you guys don't know stripe is basically a payment processor that you can hook up to your e-commerce store so your boutique your hair company if you have a shoe service any type of online sales website you can hook your stripe up to stripe is number 13 on the cnbc distributors 50 list so they're not the top they're not ranked the best payment processor but they are a pretty good one and uh from personal experience i will let you guys know that it's they do their job i'll say that something that i noticed that a lot of people kind of oversee when it does come to stripe because i noticed that a lot of these big branch businesses or whatever you want to call it they kind of have a they kind of word things to the point where it's it's it comes off as a little confusing sometimes so i'm here to give you guys the 411 stripe is basically in my opinion the middleman or the communicator between your bank and your customer's bank so always remember if there's a dispute open or anything like that you're not really dealing with stripe you're dealing directly with your customer's bank so if you contact stripe trying to like negotiate things with them and get an understanding through them they're literally just going to tell you to submit your evidence online the bank will re review it and then they'll make a suggestion so long story short the fights or the battles or the investigations that you all do on stripe will be directly with your customer's bank so if your customer has a chase account you're dealing with chase if your customer has a bank of america account you're dealing with so just be mindful dealing with stripe it is a little bit difficult to win disputes and things like that because you're dealing with your customers bank and of course your customers bank wants to save their customers ass so long story short that is just something that i want you guys to know some other things about stripe that you should know stripe can technically hold your money at any given time for any given reason and honestly that's with any bank um not just stripe but that's just something that you all should know with stripe opposed to let's say one of their competitors being paypal stripe they they do they can hold your money up until seven days before they give you a payout um me with my own personal experience they've never hold a hold held any of my money for that long but they technically do if someone makes a purchase today i probably don't see it until about three business days so that is a little lengthy but that's not a long time something something also cool about stripe is you can set it to where you can have your money roll over and get deposited um on a 
everyday basis or you can also get it deposited on like bi-weekly or monthly as well and that's something like super neat and super cool in case you're kind to trying to collectively build a lump sum of money and then just get it deposited as if it was a check like an actual work check where you work for two weeks and then you get paid so that's something cool that they do offer that i do like some other things pertaining to stripe is when you do first open an account they can if this is your first or very first few pay first few purchases that you've used stripe with they can hold your money for up to 14 days and the reason that they hold it up to 14 days is more so of a rely reliability thing uh, when i was actually doing some research on their website i noticed that in their words they hold it to basically decrease the risk inherited and provided credit services i don't really know what that means to be honest but that's their reason for holding um, your funds. Uh, some other information pertaining to Stripe if you do live outside of the US. So if you live in like Canada and I believe the UK, they can take up to 10 days, 10 days to deposit your money through a payout. When it does come to disputes or anything like that, how it works is your customer or the buyer will contact their bank, open a dispute up, and then from there, Stripe will then contact you and let you know what exactly you need to do to hopefully win the investigation or how to submit your evidence and things like that. You would then log onto your dashboard or through your account and then submit all of uh, the information that they're asking you for. It typically takes about 30 days for them to review it. From that point, they'll send you an email letting you know if... Um, the investigation ended in your favor or your customer's favor nine times out of ten they will end in your customer's favor i do just want you guys to be mindful of that um and when an investigation is open they do take the money right out of your account so wh what that means is if you do have a bank account linked to your stripe as you should let's say it's a 300 dollars dispute that 300 dollars will then be scheduled to to be deducted out of your account and then it gets held and it and who holds it your customer's bank so your so your customer's bank holds that money they make a decision and then release the money back to whoever they feel is the right candidate for it uh, and the last few things about stripe they have really good customer service service that's one thing that i will give them it's not a number that per se you can call but you can uh go to your dashboard and basically hit some options and have them call you you put your number in the reason for the call they'll reach out to you within three minutes very quickly and then you give all of your um you know let them know whatever concerns that you do have and then they handle it from there so stripe is overall a pretty good payment processors i haven't had much you know much of a problem with them they do give you great analytics to let you know like how many sales you you generated this month pertain to last month or the last 30 days or the last 90 days or the full year and things like that compared to the previous so i definitely do help this video helps you guys don't forget to like this video and also subscribe cut on those bell notifications so you can see every time that i upload a video and and other than that i think that's it so i will see you guys in my next video i love each and every one of you and until next time.